Hey nerds, what's up? Today's video is going to be my April TBR. Fun fact, when to edit this video earlier today that I'm filming and realized that I hadn't filmed it yet. So here we are. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Okay, so I have some books that I want to read in April. Let's get into this. <laughs> okay, so I'm reading, I'm filming this on March 30th and I'm in the middle of Touch My Shelf, so, or Touching My Shelf Readathon. I'm really hoping that I can finish all of those books, but I'm being realistic and assuming that I won't finish all of those books, and whatever I don't finish, I would also really like to read this month. I just don't know how many books of those those are, <laughs> okay? Okay, starting off with the Best Books Club. The Best Books Club, we do every third Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and this month we are changing it to being live on YouTube. So me, Paula, and Katie will be reading The Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. This will be a reread for me, but a first time read for both of them. And this book won Best Fantasy of Goodreads 2020, and I, this is the most exciting one that I've had so far because everything else has been like yeah I'm like I'll read that and then it hasn't been that good but I already know that I love this book where is it I don't know why I'm not holding it up like hmm I'm excited so we're gonna be reading this and live showing about it on April 17th at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time so I hope you guys will join I'm freaking excited this will be yeah this will be my first reread of this one <sighs> okay so what is this book about in case you didn't know this book is about a girl named Bryce and following a death of important people previously, she is taken up by basically like the minister of the world or of the area to help in the investigation of figuring out what is going on now because the murders are happening again in a very similar fashion. Bryce is half fey. The minister offers the help of a angel fallen angel whatever the hell named hunt it's sarah j mess do we know where we're headed um and hmm, what else there's like every magical being involved that you could think of there's werewolves there's vampires there's fairies half fairies um mermaid mermaids all sorts of all sorts of beings. Unlike her previous books, this takes place in like an urban fantasy setting. So you have things like technology, cell phones, all of that good stuff, along with all of these different fae. It's not two separate locations. It's an interweaving of these worlds. And I thoroughly enjoyed. Also, it hurts. So get those um, tissues ready if you haven't read it yet and you're going to read it. I hope you'll join me on April 17th to talk about it. I also just am on a Sarah J Mass kick apparently because I'm hoping to finish Aka War. I'm currently in the middle of my reread for it. So I want to read not only a frost of uh, a frost a, a court of frost and starlight, which is the little one, but also a court of silver flames, which is the big one. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I'm doing it. So Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses is the first book, in case you don't know what that one's about. That one is about a girl named Feyre who comes from the human side of the wall from the fairy world. She is near the wall and hunting and she accidentally kills a fey wolf. And because she has broken the treaty, the Lord of the Spring Court, which is who the wolf belonged to, um, decides to take her captive. It's Beauty and the Beast retelling and then from there everything goes crazy. I am loving my reread of these and also very excited to get to these two things. The next book I would like to read this month is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. 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 N.K. Jemison. And mostly I just want to read this book because I pulled it out of the library back when um, I was doing Valentine's because it could be considered one of the books for um, Afrofuturism and then I just still haven't gotten to it and I keep renewing it. And I want to get to it before I actually have to give it back. I hate when the stickers are in my way. It starts with the great red rift across the heart of the world's sole continent, spewing ash that blots out the sun. It starts with death with a murdered son and a missing daughter. It starts with betrayal, a long dormant wounds, and long dormant runes, wounds, 
rising up to fester. This is the stillness, a land familiar with catastrophe, where the power of the earth is wielded as a weapon and where there is no mercy. Great. Great. Great, great. So I want to read that. I don't really know what it's about, but it sounds great. Finally want to get to this fucking book that's been on my TBR for like two months, but I finally got it from the library and it's We Are the Ashes, We Are the Fire, which is also on my NetGalley list. I need to review it, but then I fucked up and didn't download the ARC and so it disappeared because it got archived and now I finally got it from the library. It's a whole thing. It's a book of prose or poetry. I think it's technically a novel written in prose. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I remember back in the day when I read the synopsis on NetGalley that it sounded interesting, but I don't remember at all what the synopsis was. So I wanna read this. <laughs> and then lastly, I also was in the middle of The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp back right before Touching My Shelf started. I'm 60% of the way through and I was absolutely freaking loving it, but I was trying to focus on Touching My Shelf reads so I haven't gotten to it yet and I do want to finish this when touching my shelf ends that's a goal um so with that all said I still have more things to say because I want to do a good uh tbr challenge so this is going to be my new touching my shelf challenge I mean I guess it's not new I've been doing this a long time but the goal is to always touch my shelf so I'm going to start calling it the touching my shelf challenge so we're gonna have a monthly challenge. And this is the one that I'm picking. What was last month's? Okay, this month. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This month's challenge is to read a whole series. I feel a little bit like Gavin during his TBR game when he lost to the 10 book series. Are you kidding me right now? So last month's challenge was to read for 10 minutes every day before bed or in the morning. And I will say that I pretty much succeeded in that. Every once in a while, there was probably a day where I did neither, but for the most part, I've been getting up every day and reading for like an hour before I get up, like while I drink coffee or whatever, or I've been reading about an hour before bed. Um, so that I think has been a success. So now I need to figure out a series to read, a whole series. Can it at least be like, I've read one book? It does say read a whole series. We're gonna, we're gonna think about this for a second while we do the next part. This is the Goodreads challenge that you guys get to help with. We just went through my Goodreads want to read list and completely got rid of everything that I have no interest in anymore. So there are some books that I have more or less, but overall everything is fresh in here. Well, not fresh, just freshly checked. <laughs> so I have 520 book, 20, 526 reads on this list so we're going to pick three out of 526 and then you guys will get to pick on twitter um so the first number that's coming up is 195 so let's go find it i'm just thinking about the freaking read a whole series and it's supposed to be on my shelf so something has to be on my shelf in order to read it i do have a couple of series that i can do but wow i'm scared okay so 195 is going to be, oh, okay. It's going to be Hidden Bodies. So the first book as an option for the Goodreads challenge will be Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes. This is the sequel to You by Carolyn Kepnes. If this gets picked, could I use this? I've already read You before. But I haven't read this one. And the new book is coming out this month. Perhaps, perhaps. I can make that loophole for me. You is about a boy, man named jo Joe, and he's totally infatuated this, with this girl who comes into his bookshop. But it turns out that Joe is a stalker. The book is in second person. So this book is in third person, so the, the, the person-ness has changed. Anyways, we're moving on because I can't with myself. So the next number is going to be 269. 
which is going to be Black Iris by Leah Rader. Okay, what's this book about? Only took one moment of weakness for Lainey Keating's world to fall apart. One stupid gesture for a hopeless crush. Then the rumors began. Slut. Queer, psycho, mentally ill, messed up, so messed up even her own mother decided she wasn't worth sticking around for. If Lainey could ease that whole year, could erase that whole year, she would. College is her chance to start with a clean slate. She's not looking for new friends, but they find her. Um, but Lainey knows nothing good ever lasts. When a ghost from her past resurfaces, the bully who broke her down completely, she decides it's time to live up her, to her own legend, and Armin and Blythe are going to help which was the plan all along because the rumors are true, every single one, and Lainey is going to show them just how true. She's going to show them all. Okay. I really love this color, this cover. It's so beautiful, but, like, I don't know if I like the synopsis of that anymore, but, okay. That's an option. Black Iris. I think this book is just giving me choker vibes, which you'll hear about soon in my wrap-up slash also in my Touching My Shelf vlog. So I think maybe I just am hoping that it will be better than that. Okay, lastly, number 99, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Oh, I hope that this one wins because I've watched this movie. It's very beautiful and depressing um, and I really want to read it. So The Color Purple is by Alice Walker, set in the deep American South between the wars. The Color Purple is the classic tale of Celie, a young black girl born into poverty and segregation. Raped repeatedly by the man she calls father, she has two children taken away from her, separated by, from her beloved sister Nettie, and is trapped into an ugly, an ugly marriage. This is actually not the book that I was thinking of, I don't think, but I've heard amazing things about this. Um, but when she meets the glamorous Shug Avery, singer and magic maker, a woman who has taken charge of her own destiny, gradually Celie discovers the power and joy of her own spirit, freeing her from her past and reunited her with those she loved. I love how random some of the times these get. So we have a sequel thriller. Um, I assume we're still going to be following Joe and his creepiness. Yeah, creepy thriller. We have Black, Black Iris, which also seems to be some sort of thriller, um, but in a new adult setting. This one feels more YA than this one does. This one feels more adult, but college setting, adult setting. Or we have the classic The Color Purple by Alice Walker. So those are the options. I will be posting a poll on Twitter and in the, like, not the cards here, but, like, on my YouTube channel. So please only vote in one, but vote whichever one you would like um and then just please only vote at one place because i do count all of the numbers together so that's everything for the tbr i'm actually really overwhelmed by the whole read a whole series thing let's open up let me let me take you back and we'll look up some series that i have so i on think my what show. i want to do for this challenge is one book has to be on my shelf even though normally it is a touching my shelf challenge because otherwise it seems pretty undoable because the i do have a Robert Galbraith series on here, the two of them. I think this is the complete series, but like, I don't know how much I feel like touching JK Rowling right now because I'm mad at her. Oh, 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 I already know. I know what I'm doing. Where's the other one? Blue. Ha. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Okay, cheating. Well, not cheating. Figured it out. I'm going to be reading The Archived and the Unbound by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab, two book series both on my shelf, completely takes part of this. So that's what I'm going to try to read. They're also not too big. This TBR is very large. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> oh God. And I have, I've <laughs> blocked it out of my memory that I'm trying to read two, Sarah, three Sarah J Mass books. This is how many books I need to read this month. And this isn't even true because I also have like a big ass Court of Silver Flames to add to this. So it's like, this is what I need to read. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna do so well. How many books is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine books seems doable, except for when you think about how A Court of Silver Flames is 800 and almost 900 pages, and Crescent City is a lot of pages, and... Plus, I have other books I want to read, too. Like, I would really like to... Okay. 
I'm gonna not stress. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Monday and Saturday. The next video you'll be seeing is my wrap up for uh, March. So I hope you guys will hang out and enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.